Welcome to today's module on the introduction to Dmaic process part 1. The defined phase, by Lean Six Sigma Prowess, a company dedicated to educating the minds of tomorrow. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to talk about a five-step improvement process known as Dmaic. Dmaic stands for define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. Define, is the first phase of the Demaic process. Here, we define the project via the project charter, the key output of this phase. The project charter is a very important document that will be updated throughout the Demaic process. Without a well-defined project charter the project is likely to fail. The define phase is approximately two to three weeks in total duration, and begins with the selection of the project leader, coach, and champion. The define phase is all about establishing a project. Therefore, there are many individual activities to complete. If we summarize these activities into four steps these would be 1. Develop the project charter. Identify and understand the problem and its impact on the business. Here we start to build the foundation of our project. The project charter will not be completed for this stage until the end of the define phase. In order to identify and understand the problem and its impact on the business case is important to visit the gamba, a Japanese word which translated means where the action is. During the define phase, we use several types of maps such as SIPOC, flowchart, process map, or value stream map illustrated here, in order to identify and scope the project, and we evaluate historical data of the process performance such as key process indicators illustrated here, process capability studies, statistical process control charts, and other. 2. Interview the customer, identify their needs and project expectations. Lean Six Sigma is customer focused. A Lean Six Sigma project is only worth doing if the improvements made during the project increases the customer's satisfaction. During the define phase, interview the customer. Have a face-to-face -face in order to identify what the customer wants to see as a result of the project and their expectations. There are several tools you can use to understand the customer's expectations, these include, voice of the customer, crucial to quality, can a model, house of quality, and other. After the interviews, you should have full alignment with the customer. As the project progresses ensure to keep the customer informed through regular project status updates. 3. Establish the project team, identify and select cross-functional team consisting of financial controller, operators, engineers, supply chain, management, and other team members. Team dynamics play a significant role in the success of any project. The team should be diverse in knowledge and experience. Typically, 8 to 10 members who are active participants. 4. Complete the project charter and gain acceptance from upper management to move to the measure phase. At the end of this phase, you will have completed all of the elements of the project charter. Include, problem statement, business case, primary metric, project scope, project goals, financial impact, established team, project deliverables, and project timeline and milestones. We hope that you have enjoyed this introductory module. For more Lean Six Sigma modules and helpful VBA tools, please visit our website at http colon slash slash l6sigmasupportal.wix.com slash learn see for free.